So the first problem for quadratic functions is to complete the square in order to find the vertex of this function. I'll begin by replacing f of x with a y. So we've got y equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 5. The next thing to do is divide everything by a 3. In order to complete the square, I need this to be just an x squared instead of a 3x squared. So divide both sides by 3, or divide every term by 3. And we've got y over 3 equals x squared plus 2x. And I'll leave a little bit of space right here, plus 5 thirds. The next idea is that we need to be able to factor this into a perfect square. There's a number that's missing, and to figure out what number is missing, we take this, the coefficient of x, cut it in half, so I'll work over here on the side, cut it in half, and square the result. That's going to be a 1 squared, or a 1. So then add 1 in right here. But if you add 1 to one side, then you need to add 1 to the other side. So add 1 to both sides. Now, these three guys can be factored. In fact, they can be factored into a perfect square. And then we've got just two more steps. We need to solve for y. So subtract 1 from both sides to move this over to the right-hand side. So we're going to subtract it from the 5 thirds. Let's see. Well, if we subtract 1, that's the same thing as subtracting 3 over 3, which is going to leave 2 thirds. And now multiply both sides by 3, or multiply all terms by 3, and we get y equals 3, and then x plus 1 is squared. When I multiply this one by 3, the 3 in the denominator is going to be canceled, leaving just a 2. So we've done the complete the square. Now the last part is the vertex. Well, that just comes from these two numbers here. This part is saying move over to the left by 1, and this is saying move up by 2. So there is the vertex.